I'm Natasha Hussein and this is Kappa News. This was due to a lack of confidence in its leadership, both as Muntri Busa and state party leader. We're going to have a shortage of water pretty yeah, soon. Well, and what, are you going to make a what, movie what, on that? Well, uh, or, you know, or even parts of Malaysia with rising seas. Over at the Sessions Court, Vivian Lee Mei Ling, the ex-girlfriend of former sex blogger Alvin Tan Jai Yi, was sentenced to nearly six months jail today. Now let's just focus now to the Election Commission's redelineation exercise. Sensitive issue. Highly <laughs> sensitive and highly publicized at this yes. point in time. Now it's been noted that under it, some seats will be race-based. With that in mind, how could the party be affected if this uh, redelineation proposal is actually green-lighted? The Attorney General has given his assurance that nobody will go scot-free if they are implicated in the misappropriation of 3.5 billion US dollars from 1MDB. It's quite an action-packed film. Did you do any of your own stunts or any of the other stars do their own stunts? Oh yeah. This we... I can't stop her from not doing <laughs> her own stunts. Apparently I love to throw myself down a flight of stairs. <laughs> So after joint Balikatan exercises with the Philippines and a few days in Singapore, U.S.'s John C. Senate is now off the coast of Malaysia. The third meeting of the fourth session of the 13th Parliament kicked off today and the issue of lowering good old GSD was raised during question time. Now this is the first time Denzel and uh, Ethan Hawke have reunited since training day. How is their dynamic on set? Same. It was like they never left each other. This new concept of talk show aims to expose and reveal the tricks and deceptions occurring in our society today. Throughout the program, we will provide a platform for victims. Now, you emphasize that Kuda is a key state. Now, do you think the crisis will impact BN's chances of retaining Kuda in the <coughs> upcoming general election? Uh, definitely, because Kuda is a swing state. Dida is going to play us a wonderful Raya classic. Suasana Hari Raya. Yes. Take it away, Dida. And Jose Mourinho has been appointed officially as Manchester United boss. Does it not get confusing? Because I understand oh. it's after <laughs> a, a day of cycling. So do you ever yeah. get confused and miss your cues? The show itself is a logistical nightmare. Americans go to the polls on November 8th. Hi there, you're tuned into 7 Edition this Friday evening with me, Natasha Hussein. And to increase private consumption, employees' contribution to the Employees' Provident Fund will be reduced by 3%. Just another three weeks until America votes, and Donald Trump is slumping in opinion polls amid numerous sexual assault allegations. As the overarching themes of overpopulation and the destruction of humanity, deep topics which are bound to spur conversation on what if all this disappeared. Bursay 2.0 Chairperson Maria Chin Abdullah will file a lawsuit at the High Court. Alright, so do stay tuned to the Star Media Group's various platforms as we'll be bringing you updates from the National Delegates Conference over the course of the next two days. Okay, well, best of luck. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Cheers. Thanks, thanks for Thanks for joining us on the show today. Thank you. And on that note, we wrap up 7 Edition. And that wraps up Cup of News. That's all from me and the Evening Edition team. Stay connected with the Star TV and Star Online. And on that note, we wrap up 7 Edition. I'm Natasha Hussein. Thanks for watching and have an awesome night.